million Americans suffer from chronic kidney failure every year, and that number sadly keeps going up. The best available treatment is a transplant, but many have to wait years to get one, if they get one at all. But now, as News Channel 5's Roxanne Stein reports, an artificial kidney may be medicine's next big thing. It's a routine that's getting old for David Anderson. Sitting in this chair for hours on end is not how he'd prefer to spend his days. It's about about five hours a day, really, coming and going uh, three times a week. David suffers from kidney failure and needs dialysis to survive. It's a process that cleans out blood but takes its toll on patients. It's uncomfortable It's I mean, to sit for such a long time. The therapy only replaces about 10% of kidney function. After five years, just 35% of patients are still alive. It's actually really sad. Um, we have... I, I have a lot of patients, um, I, well, I think all nephrologists have patients die regularly. A kidney transplant is a better option. The problem? Last year, only 17,000 of the 85,000 patients on the waiting list received an organ. Blood in, blood out, filtrate, waste. This artificial kidney could soon be a solution. Researchers at UC San Francisco hope to implant the device right in the body. Thousands of microscopic filters mimic the filtering role of a real kidney. One side filters out toxins, while the other reabsorbs salt and water and emits waste. The body's own blood pressure performs the filtration without the need for a power supply. Because it's implanted and provides many of the same benefits of a transplant, the patient quality of life, the patient health will be improved. The surgery will cost the same as a kidney transplant, but this device is designed to completely eliminate the 75000 per year spent on dialysis for each patient. A room-sized model of the artificial kidney has been used for over a decade now. Engineers are trying to fit that device into the size of a coffee cup. Blood? I would sign up now <laughs> if I could. Until then, he'll wait, hoping medicine will soon get him out of this chair and on to more exciting adventures. Another benefit is patients wouldn't need to take the immune suppressant drugs like they do with a transplant. Researchers hope the artificial kidney will be in clinical trials within the next five years. For more information, go to WPTV.com and click on Scene on 5. Roxanne Stein, WPTV, News Channel 5.